So you guys cannot get enough iPad. I mean, I post like non-Apple content and you're all kind of like, yeah, it's cool. And then I post an iPad note-taking video at midnight. I thought I wasn't gonna get any views and all of a sudden it gets a thousand views in an hour and I'm just like, so the demand for iPad is high for my people who want non-iPad content. Please, once again, I said this in my previous video, don't worry, I got OnePlus content, I got other gaming content and just non-Apple stuff coming soon. But to fit the demand here, I went out of my way to pick up a new iPad to cover here, which can run iPad OS, and that is the iPad Mini 5. I love this thing. I've been looking at it for a while. It's super powerful and compact, and you can use the Apple Pencil, which I picked up open box here. And yeah, I just wanted to see, you know, what the experience was like at this form factor, you know, a 7.9 inch screen with the powerful internals you find in here. It's basically an iPhone XS or XS Max and just a bigger body. It's kind of cheap, you know, it's a little bit more expensive than the baseline 2018 iPad. And so I thought I'd do a little initial impressions video on the iPad mini 5 here running iPad OS because for some reason you guys like watching my content at two in the mornings. But before we continue here, I'd really appreciate it if you'd smash that like button and leave me a comment, whether it's a question, suggestion, or an opinion, any interaction helps a lot as the algorithm likes that. And if you do so, it'll push my content to more people. So without further ado, let's jump into things here. So yeah, I picked up a 64 gig iPad mini 5 here in silver and just right off the bat, although, you know, we still have like the legacy design and still like the iPad Air 2 look, I just love the size of this thing. I always have ever since it launched in 2012. And yeah, it's just such a fun little device. It does lack ProMotion. It does lack, you know, a lot of the pro features, but you do get Apple Pencil support and it's just insanely powerful. Not as insanely powerful as the iPad Pro with the A12X, but the A12 is plenty powerful. Let me, let's look at some benchmark history here. You got 11,000 in the multi-core score. That is insane. That is comparable to some last generation laptops with like core i5 processors. I think this device is a little bit more powerful than the MacBook right here I'm using to record the audio with for this, you know, little initial impressions video. It has three gigabytes of RAM. It has a six core processor. That's the A12 Bionic. It's just crazy what you can do with this device. You can video edit, you can game like there's no tomorrow. And I cannot wait to cover this more in the future, you know, to get more in depth with certain tasks. But yeah, overall with iPad OS even installed as a beta program, it is a very fluid experience, even lacking that 120 hertz display. 60 hertz is just fine here for most users. And for me, really, I'm not complaining here, even though I have access to a much higher refresh rate screen. Um, Going through content is just really enjoyable, especially at this very pocketable, you know, nice form factor, the 7.9 inches. I never thought I'd like this screen size this much. And it's definitely for some people who don't want to have some huge iPad, you know, in their bag. Even the 9.7 inch can be a little bit big to some people, I think. And just being able to reach all the keys on the keyboard is just something I really do enjoy. So I'm gonna text my sister, are you going to drive yourself next time? Let's talk about the pencil too, because it offers a very unique experience, especially on this small display, which I would say is more than big enough to take some notes and draw a little bit here. Let's go back in history. I was doing um, some doodling here and I managed to do this with the pencil. Pretty impressive actually. I mean, you can get some stuff done um, or notes taken on here. Let's just create a new note, write a little bit. 60 hertz is more than fine. It feels very smooth and responsive. Obviously not as smooth and responsive as the iPad Pro, but for $399, and if you get like the pencil used or open box, it is definitely a really nice experience here. Do use the pencil if you're kind of an artist. If you use like a better app like Procreator, I don't know, like Autodesk Sketchbook, you can, you know, make use of the pressure sensitivity with the iPad. And yeah, it just works really, really nicely. And I love the fact that Apple integrated Apple Pencil support in the, you know, non-pro iPads. Let's do some multitasking here. Uh, this display, although it is 7.9 inches, it's definitely big enough to do stuff like this. You can also bring that carousel view in as well. So let's drag this app over here and then boom, you got this going on. Let's drag another app. I don't know, let's have another instance or let's do an instance of uh, notes here and then maybe another instance of Safari if it'll let me. Let's see, yeah, so you can have this carousel view as we know here, really, really, really useful. Um, you can swipe that away if I can do that maybe someday, there we go. Um, let's open a new tab, search. I love how the little miniature keyboard pops up too, which is still big enough to type a little bit. Let's do Apple News. So then that loads up really quick here. Decent Wi-Fi connectivity speeds, iPhone 5G, tap on that let's open up a file in here i don't know let's go to the downloads folder i have a note from yesterday or something 
um open my numbers folder so yeah we're interacting with this app over here and this app over here we can swipe back in here look at our messages look at a different instance of safari let's pull up my youtube analytics or my social blade page scroll through that swipe over here notes we can you know even jot down something else it's incredible that you can do all of this on a little powerful device like this and I just, once again, love the form factor you get here. So you can just hold it in the palm of your hand. It doesn't feel overwhelming. You just have everything in like a thumb's reach. And this is the landscape orientation that we have here on the home screen with this little widget view. It's very nice here. And yeah, it just makes better use of this display and just makes things a little bit more compact. And I would say it makes the iPad just look more pro, even though it isn't an iPad Pro. It looks less like a toy and more like a tool. Like I said about iPad OS in general with all the iPad devices. The speakers I found are not super loud, but they're more than adequate, especially for, you know, YouTube videos. Let's go into the YouTube app here really quick. Gus Johnson is the best. Last week, we lost a wonderful man, my Uncle Gary. Um, so today, I am here. And also, I won't forget to mention here, it has a headphone jack, which is going extinct. So if you use wired headphones, this is definitely a device to get, even over the iPad Pro, if you are so inclined. Let's open up Notability here. I was playing around with this earlier. You can use the zoom view to write things out. So, you know, you can just be like, I am taking notes. And this is definitely big enough to write things out for sure. Even, you know, marking up documents. Let's use the default little document here with notability like I showed yesterday in my note taking video. Highlighting just fine. You can add a little note in here. I'll change the color to red and change the size here. Let's zoom up, maybe like circle something, you know, toolbar, maybe a little note like this. Is important we'll write that this is important I don't know why it's important but it is so so yeah PDF manipulation with the Apple pencil and just note-taking in general is a definite thing I will be doing a video specifically on this in the future just talking about the whole form factor and whatever but yeah I'll go into depth with that later on and it kind of sums things up here with this device you know my overall first impression I really love this for the form factor and the power you get and iPad OS just makes it better and once again I cannot wait to cover this device on many of its different aspects and uses you know when it comes to maybe video editing and note taking photo editing document manipulation note taking etc leave me a comment if you have anything I'd like to do with this device down below in regard to just you know itself and in comparison to other devices as well like the iPad Pro so yeah, that about wraps things up. I hope this video helped you out. I hope you enjoyed this device as much as I do. I love the form factor and the fact that this device is just so powerful. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like in this video, comment if you have any questions or suggestions, and subscribe for more content like this. And just a little quick side note, do not worry. Although I'm doing a lot of iPad content to kind of fit the demand here, because if you want iPad, I'm giving you iPad. I also do not Apple content. I also do not iPad content. So if you're kind of distraught here, I got a OnePlus video coming up and other non iPad and Apple content coming soon. And as always, I'm Noah and I will catch you all in the next one.